Hi, I'm Claire and this is my husband Nick. We met in an online chat room in 2001 and ended up getting married in 2006. We're a fairly normal, hard-working couple who love travelling and enjoying a drink or two. In early 2020, we decided we wanted a whole new life-changing challenge. So we said goodbye to our jobs. We sold our Wiltshire farmhouse we packed up our things and made the move to France. In early 2001, I went back to the UK to finalise our house sale and pick up my Arga. I was on Facebook on an Escape to the Chateau fan club page when I saw this advert. I messaged Nick the advert, curiosity got the better of him and he went and arranged a viewing. With the instructions from me, I trust your judgement, if you think I'll like it, put in an offer. The offer was accepted and we finally got the keys on the 10th of June 2021. Join us and our dogs Merlo and Flora as we renovate our Maison de Maitre. So I'm up in the attic of the Maison de Maitre. Behind me you can see the rolls and rolls of uh, insulation that we bought last summer and we've got couple of piles of plasterboard and I'm gonna have a go to see whether I can make it work on the ceiling so this insulation unlike the stuff I put in the maze on the major this is space age stuff this is lots of layers of foil and stuff something to do with the space suit and astronauts and things like that anyway um, so I've unwrapped one roll and um, well it says it's easy to fit quick and easy to fit that's what it says on this side of the paper and on the other side of the paper there was I thinking there would be instructions as how to quickly and easily fit it and it just says the same as on the other side well that's very helpful quick and easy that side quick and easy that side Anyway, we'll see how quick and easy this goes. My plan is to, I'm going to do this little pit here. It's quite reachable and it's a perfect size because the width from there to there is the same width as a roll of spacesuit. So, i um, going to fit that going down that way and then on top plasterboard going across so three or so of my half size sheet should fit up there the only downside to working up here in the attic is it's a long way to go and get anything that I've forgotten downstairs and I think a pair of scissors is what I need now but that's it anyway enough of that look at that maybe we'll forget the plasterboard and just do everywhere with this and then we could call it like the Apollo 13 experience charge a bit more for this room that seems to be going up okay. Um, I've now run out of the staples for the staple gun. Annoyingly, I didn't pick them up when I was down there a minute ago. <sighs> oh well, it's only 46 steps down and 46 back. There we have it. I have made a start. Um, 
going to get fun when I have to do it up there. Luckily, these half size balls aren't too heavy. We do have the lifting machine, but that will only get us up so far in here. So um, it will come a point. I'm going to need to get my scaffolding up here and possibly help of father-in-law maybe. Yeah, about time he did some work. Been sitting at home doing nothing all winter. Anyway, back to the here, back to the now. There's one, so I'm gonna get the rest of these bits on here and see how it looks. Good morning from the Maison de Maitre. Today, I am starting a whole new stripping adventure. It's not for the faint-hearted this, I can tell you that. I am in the big, long corridor of the first floor and this wonderful paper spans the whole length of this corridor. So I think you can really kind of gather what my next thing to do is. Oh yeah, stripping. Big annoying bubbly stripping machine is on. The sun is out. It's over six degrees. What more could anyone want? Maybe a tropical holiday? <laughs> hours on and I'm definitely making some progress uh, apart from the very top bits all of these are stripped on the first half of the corridor I am going to move on to the second half of the corridor behind me but I'm just going to see how I go because it's starting to get cold again now So warm, I might have to take my coat off in a minute. All this insulation. But anyway, look, made a start. Um, that's just the front. I'm going to have to work out how to box in around the windows, what to do about um, insulation on the stonework here. Um, that's not quite so important, but. Yeah, getting this room covered in this foil and then plasterboard, well, it'll make it firstly insulated, but secondly, noise proofed a bit in here because this is just the tiles and then it's the outside world. So not conducive to a restful holiday, which is what I think people would want to come here for. Anyhow, that bit's going all right. Still early days, but uh, starting to come together. Yeah, it's going to be a quick project. I might do this for a couple of days and then get on with something else for a couple of days. This is one of those mammoth projects that is 
bit daunting to try and think of doing it all in one stint. So, done that one, done that one, done that half of the corner here. <sighs> well, I've not run out of plasterboard, I just run out of the screws to hold it to the ceiling, so that's it for today. Hmm, anyhow, going all right. you like to tell us what happened overnight or shall we just show you the evidence what happened to the ketchup bottle flora was this chewy enough for you we know that it was not merlot because you can't jump up on the kitchen sides like flora do we like is this you did you do this Back at it today in the Maison de Maitre and yesterday I kept going for a while longer and I managed to get pretty much the whole of the corridor done. There's a tiny little bit that I missed, but look, look at that mess. Ah. So I'm standing outside the back of the Jeet. Um, I just wanted to show you firstly, um, this is one of the walls that needs to be recoated. In fact, we're gonna do the whole building probably, but um, this is more of a priority, not just because it's been patched, but also because if you look along there, so all the render is actually missing in places. And over here, well, you start off getting little holes that a finger can fit into and they start off like that and then well here's one that um, my learned assistant whacked some muck into I think he was saying so that just filled some holes for the winter that um, were becoming progressively worse but all of the coating on this building is reaching a point where it's gonna gonna flake off quite easily um, so I need to do all of that however before I make a start on that I've got a smaller sort of practice wall to work on <laughs> which is this this is only about four meters wide, about two and a half meters high. This is the side wall of our barn. So the other side of that wall, we've got the still, the copper stills for making the cognac. Um, this side, we've got this lovely render and you can tell the gutter's been leaking. Um, there's a big amount of this render. If you look up there, that's, that's, going to come off, hopefully not on me, it's going to come off very, very simply. Now, re-rendering is something that I need to wait a bit longer for because nights are still down to zero here and may well be for the rest of 
February. Um, even longer. But in the meantime, what I think I'm going to do is get rid of the stuff that's actually falling off. Um, that will let me see the condition of the stonework underneath. I mean, a lot of this is okay, but there are there are some patches of movement. What I can do, which will slow down any future deterioration, is to actually repair the gutter. Well, that didn't take too long, and look, I've uncovered an old window. Admittedly, for short people, the Napoleonic stature. Anyway, um, what I have noticed is that there's a few more holes in this guttering than I had thought. I'm going to have a go at repairing it. It's a two part mix. A thing, a thingy and hardener, and they're both the same colour, so I'm not sure whether it's mixed or not. Oh well, we'll give it a go, see if it works. Alright, so that's that joint patched up. I've also patched up around there and around there. Mm, not the prettiest, pretty horrible thing to work with, but we'll see whether it actually does the job. And I'll worry about how it looks later. Ugh. Right, well, only other thing left to do, I suppose. Better clear up. Well, there we have it. Uh, good afternoon's work. Quite pleased with that. Tell you something join this sunshine. Well, it's warming up a bit again. I think we're in high single digits today on temperature. Woohoo! So I have finished the corridor, and I am now into this room, which is, again, another bedroom. This will eventually be the bedroom to the suite on the first floor. Now, in a lot of rooms, me and my mother had kind of attacked them and pulled down a lot of the wallpaper, but then a lot of it is still glued on. This one's got more of the chalkier plaster on it, so the wallpaper doesn't come off as well. Um, I'm also finding that the exterior walls, the wallpaper comes off really quite nicely. The interior walls, no. Again, a really lovely paper. Kind of looks a bit Japanese-esque, I'd say, with mountains, a, a snow-capped, and could be lotus flowers. Um, I'm hoping as I peel off, I may find some of the original colours. I expect that... What looks like lotus flowers would have been a really kind of hot pink. Um, and I don't really know about the leaves. But as with all of the rooms, I think it's the wallpaper from the same manufacturer from the 30s. And again, base paper, wallpaper, and then these lovely little fine strips of paper on top. Uh, no writing has been found in this room, but you never know, there's still time. So, there's a bit over there, a bit on top of the fire, 
and then it's mainly just the internal walls. It's nice to have the window open and have some fresh air coming in. Um, and it's nice to still be able to feel my ears and my fingers. in the Big Butcher household. Mello, are you enjoying this? Okay. You a good boy? You're a good dachshund. Yes, you are. Oh, let's get under the chin. Well done. Right, Daddy. It's okay, you've been a very good boy. You don't need to do that again for a little while now. And once Daddy's dried you off, you can have your bathrobe. Be a good boy. Oh, you look so sad. Good boy, well done. Laura. Your turn. Fantastic. You want to do your dressing gown after your bath? You're beautiful. Flora May. You nice and clean. Merlo. Mm -hmm. I, I think your dressing gown actually fits you better, Merlo. Are you comfy? Are you ready for your roast dinner? We're having chicken. Chicken dinner. You love your chicken dinner, don't you? you know Good morning. Another wonderful day of stripping is about to take place. This morning my husband's been up here and ever so kindly turned on the wallpaper stripping bubbly horrible machine for me. But ladies and gents, my husband, he's a very clever man. He was privately educated to a fine level, but I want to show you how this level can drop. My husband's been in, he's turned on the wallpaper machine and look how he has tied up the wallpaper stripper handle. This is just, this is danger. Just bear in mind how this thing actually just secretes water. So he's very kindly tied, tied the handle of the device that drips water up to the ceiling for me. It's very kind, but yes, oh, Oh, it's right above a plug socket that it can drip on. Yeah, apparently electric and water can mix in my husband's mind. nearly finished and there's no writing on the walls or anything like that but whoever has plastered this room it is dreadful it's almost like they've let the apprentice of the apprentice plaster it blindfolded whilst using a fork 
it is dreadful. There is huge gouges that are like, oh, they're just horrible. They're just, yeah, there's no smooth finish. It is just gouges. I think that could have been why the wall's been double lined with paper, just so you don't see all of these crappy gouges in the wall. However, I have found one novelty thing about this room. If you look here, you can see some dots on the walls, which is where the headboard for the bed would have been. So somebody's seen some action in here. Hey! <laughs> And I'm now pleased to say that is another room de-wallpapered. It's a horrible, boring, thankless job. Someone's got to do it. Yeah. And you want help getting to the bird food, do you? Hello, Flora. What are you doing on top of the hot tub? That smells nice. Welcome to Wine of, of the, the week. week. And we do actually have a wine today. This wine, uh, it is a... It's a Bordeaux. And it was courtesy of my parents from their exclusive wine cellar. Uh, we believe that they paid nine euros for six bottles, but we've actually tried this before and it's not... It was all right. It was yeah. all right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, value for money, you're going to get whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, it was drinkable. So, yeah, been a, a good week, I think. It's, um, the weather's been a bit kinder to us. Um, it even has sunshine today. Look at that. We do know, though, that I think it is going to get a little bit chillier next week. Yeah, but... still getting frost overnight, and uh, that's not going to change. No. But we're hoping, once the weather improves, to bring my dad out of retirement from the winter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he likes to hibernate over the winter, so um, we haven't seen much of him. We've mothballed him. <laughs> So a good week's been had by all. I'm having a little bit. Oh no, there we go. Tops off. Woohoo! <laughs> Fruity. <laughs> so while I'm opening this, if you have enjoyed this week's episode, please click the like button. And if you've not already subscribed, please consider doing so. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter or on our website at www.theexpatbutchers.com I'm doing well, I'm doing well, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. <laughs> Slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. There she blows. <laughs> uh, I think with this, it's not going to need to breathe. No. Tell me. <laughs> More for me. <laughs> Happy Sunday. <laughs> oh, look at that. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed this week's episode. And if you have, we'll see you next week. Cheers, see you next week. Cheers. What doesn't mix with electric? Wine. <laughs> or water! <laughs>